So one of the really great things about Panasonic's white balance system is that you can adjust it to the nth degree. You'll notice down here that I have auto white balance and then there's the other options here. That's the uh, sunny day white balance, I believe it is, and cloudy and then shade. But what we can do is, okay, so here's your white balance button over here, which you can then change these very easily. And now look at how how warm the, sh the shade is. And notice up here that I've actually adjusted this shade. Um, if, if, I, if I hadn't adjusted it, it would, it would look like this. But I have adjusted shade in the past. Or I'm sorry, cloudy. I have adjusted cloudy in the past. And, th and when it's adjusted, it comes up like this. And you'll see here it says adjust. So I'm going to hit the down arrow like so. And it brings up this great big uh, color chart that if you haven't adjusted anything, this is right in the middle. But if the if the cloudy setting is too warm, I can dial in more blue, or I can move it over to the more blue setting, which I regularly do with cloudy. Uh, cloudy a lot of times is just too warm for me, but you can also add green, you can add purple, you can add red, you can do anything to adjust your color balance based on what you think is uh, something you like. And this is the most there are other cameras that do something like this, but they're very complicated to get into and maneuver and set this up. But this is really super easy and infinitely adjustable. Not only can you adjust, adjust, adjust it that way, but you can adjust any one of these options, even, even auto white balance. Where we've got here, there's your auto white balance. Let's go in. I'm going to hit the down arrow to adjust. And now we're going to make this even warmer let's say because it's, it's taken out a lot of the warmth so there's a little warmer white balance in auto really a great system and nothing I've used any on any other cameras comes close to this